Dean Smith joining us on uh, Premier Sports, head referee. Dean, I mean, I mean, why did you ever become a referee? In all honesty, I don't really know. Um, I guess I just love the sport. I was uh, never really a great player, so I was always a, a big fan, uh, hanging around the rinks, uh, teaching skating. But then, yeah, I just fell in love with it and got asked to referee one day, come to a seminar, and uh, just kicked off from there. And I've, I fell in love with it from uh, day one, pretty much. I mean, last a couple of weeks ago, we had the ref mic'd up, and it seemed to enjoy it. I mean, do you enjoy that kind of banter chat with the players? Well, you got to have that banter, you know, especially earlier on in the season when you're trying to uh, engage with new players who are coming to the uh, league and new coaches coming to the league. Um, banter is important. It's a, a pressurized environment out there, and uh, yeah, if, if banter can diffuse the situation a little bit, yeah, why not? You know, it's, it's good to communicate that way. Yeah, I mean, uh, also like I think about sometimes, you know, you're on the other side of the ice, and the coach is on the bench, and he's waving you over, saying, "Come here, I want to talk." It's kind of like dead man walking in the movie The Green Mile. I mean, how do you feel, and how how do you react to that? There's a time and a place. I think you need to understand the temperature of the coach first. You know, I think if I go over when he's at that highest uh, peak of his uh, annoyance, then I, I will try and stay away, to be honest. Maybe the next shift, go back and explain my decision and how we interpreted the situation. But sometimes you have to go over, you know, and uh, hopefully diffuse the situation. And uh, yeah, it's all about um, really uh, communication, you know, uh, whether sometimes it's good or bad, uh, communicate, and at least that will keep the coach satisfied in some way, hopefully. Yeah, can I ask my next question? Like, that communication has to be key. I mean, it takes the frustration out of the game, doesn't it? I mean, if you just don't have anything to do with, with the coaches or the players, then they just don't can't express themselves, so it makes it more difficult on you in the end. Absolutely. I think engaging with the players and the coach Fundamentally, we all want the same thing. We want to get through the game, uh, deliver a good product out there, and uh, people get frustrated. We get frustrated, you know? So it, I, I got to try and be the calmest guy out there and communicate with everyone who wants to talk, really. But we got to realize it's not a debate, you know? We might have a situation, we don't want that debate to go on too long, you know? Let's talk about it, and uh, hopefully you understand, Mr. Coach, and then uh, let's crack on, you know? And how about in a situation, sometimes you do get it, not necessarily every season, we get that one team and that one coach where they never stop chirping the whole game, they're always on you. I mean, yeah. how, where is that, where do, where do you, they cross the line where you say, okay, enough's enough here, guys, I'm sick of it. I think they, they sort of understand the personality of that referee and sometimes a look is enough, you know, and, but you have, we know the line that they can go to as long as they're not uh, really making embracing things too much being too animated you know trying to make you look little you know we, we'll give them some movement but then there's a time we'll draw the line and that's it so. well, well dean thanks for joining us on premier sports and ha have a good game tonight right. i hope you I hope the fans don't get after you too much i'll try cheers cheers